What's up guys, Perlin here coming at you from Las Vegas. Today I want to talk about how you can get into any of the clubs here in Vegas for free. Absolutely for free. So if you're coming to Vegas and you're looking to party or you're coming and you're, you know, you're going to be partying for a couple of nights, getting in for free can be a big deal because it's very expensive to get into these clubs. So I'm going to give you lots of different tips, ideas about how you can get in for free. So I've been here in Vegas for over a month now. Um, coming up on like five weeks, I've been here in Vegas, and I've been going out like five to six nights a week to like the big clubs here on the Strip, and not once have I paid entry cover to get into these clubs the whole time I've been here. So there's definitely ways you can do it where you don't have to pay cover any time. Also, just to give you a bit of a, an idea about what the clubs are like out here, it's very different than sort of the rest of the world. It's not like the pubs and small clubs that you have in your small town where you can just sort of bar hop around. These are like big super clubs. You know, there's massive lights. They've got the biggest DJs in the world playing like every single night. You know, from David Guetta, Skrillex, Mushroom Head Guy, um, Diplo. Like they're, they're, they're just like every single time you go out, there's a big, big act on. And the clubs are just amazing. So you just sort of get into a club and then you stay there the whole night. You don't really jump around from club to club. But to get into these clubs, it's not that easy. One, there's a super big line, so you've got to sort of work around that or get there early. And two, you've got to pay a lot to get into these clubs. So it ranges anywhere between like $30 and like $200 just for the entry into the club. Like just a couple of weekends ago, it was a Memorial Day weekend. And on the Memorial Day, on the Monday, it was like $200 for guys to get into excess. $200 just for entry. That's a lot of money. And, you know, and, and I was in that line and I got in for free. So I can definitely save you a lot of money by doing what I'm about to tell you. By far the easiest way to get in for free to these clubs is by guest list. You get on the guest list you can get free entry to the club. And it's a lot easier to get on the guest list than you might think. All you have to do is find a promoter and ask to be put on the guest list. So once you've found a promoter, you just text them. You're like, hey man, you just say Pearl and Earth plus three Omnia. And then they'll just put you on the list for Omnia. So first you need to find a promoter. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. One, you can just search for it. So you search, go into like Instagram or Facebook and just type in like Vegas Promoter, you know, or even the club like Vegas Promoter, Hakusan or Omnia or XS and usually there'll be a few hits that come up and these guys advertise just on Instagram or just on Facebook. And all you have to do is contact that guy saying, hey, you know, I want to get on the guest list and they'll just put you on the guest list. And so the way it works is the promoters get a commission for everyone that comes in through the guest list. So they're out there, like they want to put you on the guest list. So you just find them, they'll put you on. Another way is just in person. Like you walk the strip, up and down the strip here, there's promoters like saying, hey man, I can get your free entry to you know, this place or that place. Um, sometimes they're in the lobby of the hotel where the club is. You know, so you can, you can find them pretty easily just in person. And so a lot of these clubs, they have three different lines. They've got general admission line, table line, and guest list line. And so general admission is just people who want to buy their tickets at the door or have already got tickets. Um, then you've got guest list line for people who are on the guest list. They get in for free. And then you've got table line, which are people who have reserved tables. So that's a lot shorter. They get their own line. Now, once you're on the guest list, you still have to wait in line to get in. And so you find the guest list line and you still got to wait through but then once you get into the person who charges you they just give you a free ticket and you get your stamp and you're in to go for no money. That's a great way to do it. Also when you're texting your promoter and you're saying hey Pearl and Earth plus three for Omnia, when you say plus three that means you've got three people that can come with you but to get inside the club you need your entire group with you when you enter. So you can't have like one person that's running late and they just get in after you and just say, hey, I'm on Perlin's guest list, um, can I come in? They'll say no because the whole group has to be together 
when you enter. So keep that in mind. Also, you can say plus three and just rock up by yourself. That's completely fine. Um, I usually say plus two or plus three just in case, you know, there's a friend in town or there's someone I meet, you know, they want to come in with me in the club in the, in the guest list line for free, you know, so it's always better to have a few extra pluses uh, that you can help people come in. In terms of the lines, so you still have to wait in the line. You should be getting there at like 11 o'clock, you know, no, no sort of later than 11.30 to get in. Because clubs, most clubs open around 10.30, you know, and people start rocking up. By 11.30, the line starts to get super, super long. You know, if you get there late, like sometimes you, you can't even get in. Like I had one time, I was waiting like over an hour, it was like an hour and a half to get into excess because the line that I was in, it sort of reached capacity or supposedly reached capacity inside the club. So they weren't letting anyone in until sort of people came out of the club. And so the line was just sort of static. So that's why it took so long to get in. So you want to make sure you get there early so you don't have to wait in line for super, super long. So I always recommend rocking up at 11, going in, getting your stamp if you want to then exit. Most of the clubs have re-entry. So get there early, get your stamp, then you can come back out, get a drink, get some food, enter back in when you know it's more busy inside the club. Now, make sure that you can get re-entry by before you exit. There's some clubs, I'm thinking of Omnia, which is in uh, Caesar's Palace. That doesn't have re-entry until 2 a.m. So once you go in, you can't re-enter the club until 2 a.m. You know, if you, if you go out. A lot of the other clubs like Excess, Surrender, uh, Encore Beach Club, Huxan, places like that, you can get your stamp, then exit, then come back in. And the re-entry line is way shorter um, so you'll just be able to get straight in, uh, if not straight away, for re-entry. Sometimes if it gets too full or it gets too late, they will close the guest list line. So some clubs, they close it at like 1 o'clock. So if you're not in by 1 o'clock, then you have to go in through the general admission and pay to get in. So to keep that in mind, and sometimes you can be rocking up and you've still got to wait like 40 minutes or so in line before you get in the club, before you get checked in. And so you want to give yourself enough time that you know that you can get in without a closing, without anything going wrong. So that's why I highly recommend get there early. A few extra bonus tips. If you're a local to Vegas, it's easier to get in. If you're an industry local for Vegas, you can get in for free from Sunday through to Thursday. So if, you, if you're in the industry anywhere along here or if you have an, an industry ID for anywhere along the strip, you can get in Monday to Thursday. That's a bonus tip for you. Another bonus tip, here on the strip of Las Vegas and in the hotels, you can carry around an open container of alcohol. So you can have a beer and you can be walking to the club or a drink, drinking that on the way. You know, a lot of the taxis and Ubers are fine with you having an open container in the car. Uh, you know, when you're walking through the hotels, you can have a drink in your hand. They don't really care if it's come from outside, if it's come from, you know, a 7-Eleven or a Walgreens outside. You're walking around, even getting into the lines, and you can usually get a long way along the line before you have to give up your drink or like put your drink in the bin before you enter the club. And so that's a great way if you want to, um, you know, drink before you go in there so you don't have to pay for the expensive drinks inside the club. You can just have a drink and you can have it like for a long time, a lot further than you think before they say, oh, you got to get rid of the drink. So that's another quick tip for you. Inside the clubs, the drinks are crazy expensive. It's about $20 per drink for like a vodka lemonade or something. You know, so if you're shouting a drink for a friend, that's $40 straight out of the door. Even like water is like 15 bucks or so uh, just for water. And you know, it's just like these little, little Fiji type waters. Uh, they're not very big. Uh, sometimes they don't even have tap water. So you have to buy those if you want water. So it's very expensive inside the club. All right, so last up, I'm just going to give you a few club recommendations of some of the best clubs on the Strip if you don't know where to go. So in my opinion, best club is Encore Beach Club. That, that club's just amazing. It's also called Surrender. It's got like the same floor plan. Um, if it's advertised as Encore Beach Club or EBC, it, there's going to be a swimming night so you can get in the pool, swim around, 
When it's surrender, it's just your club clothes. Awesome club. I love it. Uh, they've got lots of seating around, which is kind of a big deal in Vegas because usually all of the seats are just like VIP tables. And so a lot of the clubs, there's just nowhere to sit down at all. So uh, that, that can be a little bit annoying. So that's in Encore Hotel. The other one is XS in the Wynn Hotel. That is also amazing. Massive area. They've got a dance floor section. They've got a couple of different bar sections, like I think four different bars. Uh, they've got a whole massive big pool. They have like night swims all the time. They've got like a poker area around the other side. Uh, awesome, awesome place to party. After that, another big one. Omnia is great. Omnia is in Caesar's Palace. Um, there's like big, like really big dance floor area uh, where it's sort of really loud, lots of dancing. But also there's two levels and then there's a terrace up the top. And the terrace is by far my favorite spot because it's got this awesome view of the strip and you know it's a little bit quieter there's a little bit more room you can talk to people you can interact um it's it's lighter so you can sort of see people better another big club marquee is always really good that's in the cosmopolitan uh just over here actually that's good again because of the terrace area big nightclub section and then there's this big outdoor sort of area like around uh, there's like a couple of different little pools and stuff and so that's really cool because you got the view, you got more room. I uh, love the terrace in Marquis. And they, they always seem to play like sick music in Marquis. Uh, it's probably just a preference, but I like it there. A few other big ones you got Huxan, One Oak, different places like that. I don't like them as much because they're just super loud, super dark, um, super crowded, like it's very congested, things like that. But some people love them. There's still really big DJs that go to them. So. You know, if you want to see that particular DJ, go there. In terms of day clubs, you've got Wet Republic, you've got Encore Beach Club, you've got day day swims that, like, everywhere seems to have some day swims now. You've got Dre's, Marquee, like, everywhere seems to have a day and a night type thing. And every hotel has a pool. And so they have pool parties going on, they have bikini contests, um, so there's always stuff to go out and do during the day uh, if you want to hit up day parties or pool parties in the day. But it's so hot in Vegas, especially here in the summer, that uh, nighttime you just won't get sunburnt. And plus they have night swims and you won't get cold on night swims just because the air is just so hot. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. So there's a few recommendations in terms of clubs. And in terms of getting into the club, if like something goes wrong, like you lose your contact for your promoter or you can't find a promoter, you can't get on the guest list, like if something gets messed up, you can always just go and hit up the strip. Like there's always stuff happening on the strip. You can drink on the strip, so you can, you know, you can still have a good time partying, meeting people on the strip or in the hotels. There's people gambling, mingling, things like that. Uh, if you're gambling, you get free alcohol as well. So, you know, that's another, that's another little, little hack if you just want to Play the pokies for a little bit, put in a couple of dollars, you can order drinks from there. Once you get your drink, you can just walk around the club with it. So that's another little bonus tip for you. Um, and that's it, for me signing out. I'm here in uh, Bailey's actually. Check out this view behind me. You got the, the train coming in, to get along the strip, you got the Ferris wheel, you got like Flamingo, Link, Haraz, what do you got? Venetian, you got uh, Encore and Win over there. So, yeah, good time. Till next time. Bye.